Welcome back to the Dark Side of YouTube. I am your dark dating coach who is here to teach you what is necessary to get a man and necessary to keep a man by any means necessary. Today we're breaking down Rihanna and what it is that gives her her bad bitch alpha female aura. So let's jump straight into it. <laughs> Where do you live by the way? Cause you're always traveling. Yes, I pretty much. You live here? I'm not even sure now, but I do have an apartment here, a bed that I own here in LA. Mm -hmm. And I have a bed that I own in New York. Mm -hmm. So can we just notice a few things already about how she's behaving, guys? Let's just rewind it, okay? The first thing you may notice she's doing, she's taking up a lot of space when she sits down. Now me, as a man, when I sit down, I'm taking up lots of space, right? My shoulders are fully extended, my legs are a little bit spread. But obviously she can't do that because she's wearing a skirt. But she's taking up nearly as much space as she possibly can. Arm on the side, Elbow resting here, you know, quite sitting back, leaning back into her chair. So taking up space is a way to command respect. Let's look at the second thing she does. You're always traveling. Yes, I pretty much. Do you live here? She is so, she's so comfortable when she's been asked a question. She's taking her time to answer the question, right? And because she's so slow in answering it and, and not in a rush, she's not rushing for anyone. Ellen actually felt uncomfortable and had to interject and say, you live here, right? So look. Where do you live, by the way? Because you're always traveling. Yes, I pretty much. Do you live here? I'm not even sure. See, taking our time to answer, it's, 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 you're not on anyone else's clock. You're on your own clock. You're comfortable in your own skin. You don't need to rush to speak. In fact, sometimes pausing before you answer a question or pausing in the middle of when you're talking to think about something to then speak is a very powerful thing to do. Moreover, speaking slowly is a very powerful thing to do. And you can see Rihanna doing all of these things right now. Taking up space, speaking slowly, and pausing as she speaks. Sure now, but I do have an apartment here, a bed that I own here in LA. Mm -hmm. And I have a bed that I own in New York. Mm -hmm. Between that, I'm just living in other people's beds and other hotel beds and traveling all over the world. I'm about to go on tour. That's exciting. And so I'll be in a tour bus. Yeah. That's exciting. <laughs> all right. So See, so... I want you to kind of compare the vibe you're getting here from Ellen versus Rihanna. Ellen is on her own show, she should be feeling more comfortable, but you see Ellen is very reactive to everything that's going on. Instantly interjecting when there's a silence, kind of on the edge of her seat, not sitting back. She's not, she's leaned forward, right? Rihanna is leaned backwards. Now I get that Ellen is running a show, maybe she's, you know, she's on clock, she's got a certain time from the producers to get things done, but just look at the vibe difference between the two of them. One is a lot more present in the moment, one is really engaged, one is relaxed, one is comfortable, whereas the other one is very reactive and very, and just seems very in her head, to be honest. What am I going to ask her next? What am I going to do next? How long do we have to do this? It's, it doesn't really command respect. I was just fingers crossed they got something in there that I love. They didn't have Bon Jovi, so I had to go with Mary J. Is Black, that your go-to song, Bon Jovi, karaoke? What song? What? Living on a prayer, don't Of course. <laughs> Other thing she's doing there, you see how when she's asked what the favorite song is, she's like, well, duh, it's living on a prayer and she puts her hands up. Again, self-assured, confident in her own beliefs, not scared to express that, which is another way to command respect from men. It's about not being scared to express what it is that you believe in. Not being scared to express your reality, your perception on reality. Saying it with conviction, saying it with confidence, and moreover, if he has beliefs or a perception of reality that, that maybe contradicts yours, not being scared to have a discussion about it. I'm not telling you to call him out and start an argument over it, but even engaging in dialogue where you're, where you're happy to put out into the open you disagree with someone is a way to command respect from them, 100%. Another thing you'll notice Rihanna does is she doesn't laugh when everyone else laughs. So she will say something, Ellen will laugh, the crowd will laugh, and she laughs when she wants to laugh. She laughs when she finds it funny. A lot of people, when they're with people and everyone's laughing, they feel obligated to laugh. But that's kind of happens more when you're very, um, when you're thinking about how other people are reacting, you're very reactive to the crowd around you, you're very reactive to the vibe in the room. Rihanna is very much comfortable in her own skin, so she doesn't laugh until she wants to laugh. So you can observe this, look. Just got back from the grocery store. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See, she laughs on her own clock. She's not she's not in a rush to laugh with everyone else. Do you understand? The thing she does is when someone else is talking, very relaxed body language, just sitting there looking at them and listening. Okay? Direct eye contact, just listening to them. Some people who don't command respect when they're speaking to someone and they're sitting there, they're like this. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And it's just very like, all the non-verbals are flaring up. You're nodding your head, right? And then you're saying, yeah, yeah. It's like you're a dog, like relax. The person knows you're listening because you're looking at them. So look how Rihanna listens to someone, right? Uh, everybody, uh, there's, you know what a rider is. It's like, you know, there's a whole famous thing about, you know, M&Ms and no brown M&Ms and somebody has to go through them. See, she's not sitting there nodding her head. She's just looking. And it's a much more powerful way to, to show someone you're engaged and also command respect. If, if, if you're behaving like Rihanna is and someone's looking at you while they're talking and you're just, you're just there still. You almost, you almost, they don't even know what you're thinking, so they're more likely to try build rapport with you for one. And number two, and number two, let's think about the reason as to why we feel forced to smile when someone's talking or nod our head. It's because we don't want them to feel awkward. It's because we want them to know we are listening, right? We, we want them to feel happy when they're talking. We want them to feel like we are engaged. But you don't have to do all this excessive head movement in order to give that off. Sometimes you can nod with your eyes. When you're listening to someone, you can go like this. If you guys would like me to break down more celebrities, put them in the comment section below, leave a like, comment, subscribe, you know the thing.